Hello out there, you YouTube prayer warriors and YouTube cyberspace land. I have a new prophecy today. It's about prophecy on West Frankfurt, Illinois earthquake. I'm going to dedicate this prophecy on West Frankfurt earthquake to my mom and dad. Harold and Mary Kelly with my mom and dad. Harold died in 1977. My mother, Mary Kelly, died in 1983, I had the best mom and dad in the world. I praise God for them. I know they're heaven today. Won't be long. Jesus return. I'll be up there with them. They love West Frankfurt. West Frankfurt, they lived all their life. And here's a picture of them back in the 1940s. Thank you, Jesus, for the best dad and mom in the world. Thank you, Jesus. Amen, amen. This is the prophecy God gave me. On June the 29th, 2009. Here it is, right here. It's over two years old. It's about the prophecy on West Frankfurt, Illinois earthquake. <clears throat> Jesus showed me in three times in ten years that a killer earthquake would destroy southern Illinois. Jesus showed me in 1999 of skyscrapers swaying in Memphis, Tennessee, and St. Louis, Missouri. Also, I saw smoke going up in the air. I saw big cracks that a man could fall in southern Illinois. I saw roads and bridges wiped out. I asked Jesus, what is this? Jesus said, this is God's judgment for going against God's commandments. Jesus said, God will divide the land in half in the middle of the USA. For the USA is trying to divide the Abraham blessing half in Israel by the Palestinian state. <clears throat> in 2002, Jesus showed it to me a second time. A supernatural God's judgment earthquake that will shake, rattle, and roll the new Madrid earthquake region. In 2007, Jesus showed me the earthquake to me a third time. This time I was in the holy city of West Frankfurt, Illinois. Four generations of Cully. Cullies have lived in West Frankfort, Illinois for 93 years. West Frankfort, Illinois is near and dear to my heart. I was riding my bike trying to rescue my daughter Alicia. I was dodging big cracks in the road that was opening up. Fire was shooting out in blast. I thought I could get killed, but by a miracle of God that I survived. I wanted to see if my angel of a daughter Alicia was okay. West Frankfurt, Illinois was completely destroyed and totally wiped out. I got to my daughter, Alicia, to save her. I warned this in love, not condemnation, guilt, or fear. I am God's prophet, watchman on the wall. I pray in the name of Jesus that the USA won't push a Palestinian state in Israel to stop this killer earthquake from wiping southern Illinois off the map. Vengeance is the Lord's. Jesus. Have mercy on Southern Illinois. Southern Illinois is called Egypt because the town's names are spelled the same like in Egypt, Africa. Let my people go free in Jesus' name in Southern Illinois. Amen. Shalom. I love West Frankfort, Illinois. I lived 45 years in the Holy City. It's near and dear to my heart. God didn't show me the body, the people getting killed, but I've seen buildings completely wiped out. I know there'll be a lot of deaths. This is going to be a terrible tragedy. And my dad, when he was young, when he was 19 years old, he seen the March 18th, 1925 tornado come through West Frankfurt. He said it sounded like a freight train. It wiped out the west part of town in 15 minutes. There was 189 people dead. There was 480 people injured. 500 homes completely destroyed. Dad said he was picking up dead people and going to funerals home and stacking them like cords of woods. It was a terrible disaster. And I really believe that this uh, judgment, prophetic killer earthquake will surpass the deaths with that March 18, 1925 tornado in West Frankfurt, Illinois. And well, I'm going to pray for West Frankfurt because there have been four generations Four generations of Cullies live in West Frankfort. When my grandpa Harry Cully got there in 1916, now uh, 95 years later, my daughter Alicia Cully still living there. 
And I lived 45 years in the holy city. I love the people there, the best people in West Frankfort, Illinois you can find in the whole world. And you know, West Frankfort, Illinois one time in the 1930s, they had eight coal mines that surrounded it. They had uh, Peabody number 11, Peabody number 18, Old Ben number 9, Old Ben number 8, Old Ben number 15, the West City Mine, Oit number 1, and Oit number 2. One time West Frankfort was in a coal miner's heaven. They had eight coal miners. It was booming. It put West Frankfort on the map uh, in 1904 when the first coal mine started there. In 1930, there were 22,000 people lived in West Frankfort. Today, in 2011, there might be 8,000 people in West Frankfort kind of become a retirement uh, city now. And I just want to tell you that I love you all there in West Frankfort, Illinois. And I'm warning you today that the blood ain't on my hands. I'm warning the people. It's going to be a terrible earthquake. And I want you to say this prayer with me now. If somebody don't know Jesus Christ as a personal Savior, if you live in West Frankfort, Illinois, or anywhere in the world, North America, South America, Africa, Europe, Middle East, Far East, say this prayer with me. Bow with me. Agree with me. If you don't know Jesus Christ as a personal Savior, and your prayer warriors out there, pray with me. But a new name's written Lamb's Book of uh, God today. A Lamb Book of Life of God for His glory. Oh Lord Jesus Christ, I release this today. That prophecy over two years old. You told me to make this video. I thank you for you too putting it on. And your prayer warriors praying with me today. God, save as many souls in West Frankfort, Illinois that you can today for your glory, God. And over North America and South America, Africa, Europe, Middle East, Far East. Say this prayer with me. Lord Jesus Christ, I am a sinner. Lord Jesus Christ, thank you for forgiving me for my sin. Lord Jesus Christ, the Savior and Messiah, thank you for saving my soul. Thank you, Jesus. My name's written in the last book of life. If you said that prayer, Jesus Christ, you're born again. This is your greatest moment in your life. Your greatest decision you ever make. I praise your holy name. Thank you, Jesus. Email me and Betty Kelly channel on YouTube. Tell us you accept to Jesus Christ as your personal Savior today. Leave a comment on George and Betty's channel on YouTube. I thank Jesus for you. Pray for George and Betty in Pinkneyville, Illinois, the least of brother in ministry. We need all your prayers. We'll be praying for you. Me and Betty, we love you in Jesus forever. Have a good day. Glory be to God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus, for all my subscriptions out there. Bless the people, all of my subscribers. Bless your people on YouTube and the YouTube's greatest friends in the world. Bless them. I pray in Jesus' holy name. Thank you, Jesus. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Everything to have breath. Praise your holy name. We don't praise you to crack rocks or crown. Praise you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. And you loved us before. We love you, Lord Jesus. Thank you for your unconditional love. Thank you for your agape love. Thank you for 1 Corinthians chapter 13. The agape love of God and Jesus. We love you. Amen, amen.